Hey everybody and welcome back to my dream machine and welcome back to Embert. In another video we digitized this mug rug and now we're going to stitch it out. So my bright colors of thread, a little bit of tearaway and of course my favorite fabric. Oh a little bit of batting too, don't forget about the batting. A little bit of fabric. Now I'm going to try as I always do to live on the embroidery edge and use little charm squares and a layer cake piece for it, some of which I shouldn't do. So the first part is our uh, placement stitch. So we want to stitch that out. And because I'm living on the edge, I check to make sure it'll fit. It's really close. I wouldn't recommend going quite this close, but you know what? I pulled it off almost gracefully. I was a little nervous about it there. I give the thumbs up. I'm pretty happy that I got it in the middle. So next, what's going to stitch out are the quilting stitches. Now, you don't have to do the quilting stitches. Um, I think I would have chosen another color. I don't really like the way it turned out for the color, but when it's all done, it kind of looks cool. I don't mind it too much. So the next thing to stitch out is just a decorative stitch. Now, I just did a triple stitch to go all the way around. I just thought it would look cool, but I needed to change my thread. Now, I'm going to go back and fix it because I thought it looked too plain like this. You really can't see it. So I thought a color change would be nice. But moving forward, here is our placement outline stitch for the middle part. Place your fabric down and then stitch that down. It's going to go over it twice so we get a really good hold on it and that's fine. It starts to do the zigzag stitch. I'm not sure why. Maybe I messed up the color but well I stopped the machine and it's fine. Carefully cut everything out. I'm just doing it because it's an easy cut. I'm just doing it on my machine. I didn't quite get close enough, so I just kind of trim it up a little bit because I really like it to be precise. Now we can do the zigzag stitches on it, which holds everything down. We want it to look fantastic. And once that's done, now for the fun, my favorite stitches, and these are our border on Embird, and they are rope stitches. Now there's two of them on Embird. One is just the rope and two is the rope plus an outline and I love the rope plus an outline it looks good with just the rope but the outline I think adds quite a bit to it so I always like to use that one but feel free to experiment and moving on it takes a while they're satin stitches they are a little bit dense but it's okay they stand up really nicely and here I am, I do the outline in purple, and I love how it looks. I am really happy with that part of it. I think maybe the bright orange is what I needed to fix and, uh, you know, do a little different. So what I did is I backed up my machine to do that decorative outline in the same purple, and I think that really brings the mug rug together, just a little bit of detail on it, and I think it looks really better. So now everything's all tacked down. We are going to do our jack-o'-lantern or pumpkin, whatever you decided to do on it. And I think it looks really good. Now coming up in just a second, we are going to have a slow-mo of connection stitches. You ready for this? Here they are from the second one over to the third one so there is no trimming and in slow motion look at that isn't that gorgeous isn't that gorgeous i'm such a nerd i'm sorry embroidery is everything right all right so moving moving on we're gonna finish our pumpkin we're gonna do the decorations on the pumpkin now for this one i took a picture of one of my kids carvings and uh, pumpkin carving sorry and I put it as a backdrop and I copied the same face so it's really kind of cute for that you could do that maybe a little bigger would look better but I thought it was really cute now for the back and here's where I really live on the edge and I shouldn't have done it I should have made my pieces a little bit bigger because I make a mistake and I don't quite catch one of them but I'm trying hard I'm trying hard right there that's when it happened now you can see when it happened but it's okay there's a fix for it so we're almost done take it off the hoop take the tape you can see I kind of stitched over the tape but that's okay it's painter painters tape so it all comes off so pick that off 
flip it over. This is why we use tear away. Make sure you hold it down when you're tearing it away so you don't rip any stitches. We don't want to do that. Trim it all nicely and we're almost done. We're absolutely almost done. I go to turn it and I realize, oh, I forgot to trim the corners. It really makes a difference to trim, clip the corners. Now turn it and you can use your nails, you can use a crochet hook, you can use a knitting needle or your scissors as I do to poof the corners out quite nicely and make it look really good. And here's my mistake right there. Ah, oh, yeah. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share and I'll see you guys in the next video.